it's crystal welcome back to my kitchen slash channel i'm sorry it has been a few weeks i have just been taking a little social media break i've had some things come up health wise i'm okay but i've been just trying to keep my stress level really low and um mellow and what stresses me out is trying to juggle all the balls between working full time and the three kiddos one with special needs and focusing on social media. That's what stresses me out. So I've decided to put social media on the back burner for a little bit just to keep everything chilled and serene. I'm okay, I'm just um, trying to figure some stuff out, but that's maybe for another video. <laughs> um, anyways, today I'm on here because I am going to try to make a spring cake for Easter this Thursday today, tomorrow's Good Friday, and on Sunday, we're going to my brother's for Easter. I'm not hosting, which is kind of nice, less stress involved with that, um, but I am gonna bring a cake, so I'm gonna try to make one this afternoon. I was thinking of making like a protein sparing modified fast base, doing a carry cake. It won't be a protein sparing cake because there are carrots in it, and I am gonna do a cream cheese frosting so the macros will be higher just really like the bread cake texture of the pmsf so that's what i'm going to try to do hopefully it will work out i'm not sure um i haven't tried it before but it's going to be similar to the base of my um, pizza rolls and the cinnamon rolls um so we'll see how it goes. I haven't been playing around a lot in the kitchen. Nothing new and exciting here. I haven't been playing with too many recipes. Everything has been pretty basic. I've been sticking to a lot of my meat chips and beef jerky. Um, dessert wise, I haven't been making a lot. I've been doing a lot of my PSMF um, cinnamon rolls on Sunday prep and stuff like that. But other than that, everything's been pretty basic. So I thought I'd just get that little update. I'm sorry I've been MIA, like I said, but it's not just here on YouTube. It's been on um, Instagram and TikTok as well. I've just kind of taken a break from reels and videos and thought I would tape this today. Hopefully it works out. I do have everything out that I need. So I thought I would just get started on whipping up my egg whites. Let's get started. Okay guys, I did forget to say that I do have my oven preheating too. It's preheating to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna start by mixing up my egg whites. I'm going to use a cup and a half of liquid egg whites. which is really close to the whole thing, but I am just using a cup and a half. And then I'm gonna use half a teaspoon of cream of tartar. So I'm just gonna mix all this up together. Um, uh, last time I mixed it up though, it was really noisy in the video. So maybe what I'll do is just leave this for a second. Before I start it, I'm gonna bring you over to where all the other ingredients are and I'll measure out everything that we'll be adding to the mixing bowl once the egg, white, egg whites have stood in. So I'm gonna bring you over to the um, other ingredients here. Okay. I thought I had everything out, but I didn't. Okay, and there's a lot, a lot going on here. Now, um, I recently um, have butter powder now. I never had butter powder. Um, I know I did a video a couple weeks ago showing how I've been making my bread and the only difference is I was using um, um, the MCT oil powder instead of the butter powder. Um, if you don't have all these ingredients, don't feel you have to brush out and buy them. If you don't have butter powder or MCT powder, use like a tablespoon of melted butter. I'm using whole egg um, powder. If you don't have whole egg powder, add maybe two yolks instead. Um, I just like adding the um, butter powders and the um, egg yolk powders just because I like the texture. It makes it softer, less less of that choky feel. You all know what I'm talking about if you've had the PMSF bread. Um, I am gonna add coconut flour and allulose flour. For those of you that can't tolerate it, or allulose flour, 
arrowroot flour. For those of you that can tolerate it, it's not a very large amount. You could totally leave it out. Um, but yeah, so, okay. A little bit of technical difficulty with my um, stand here. I'm gonna, just gonna keep filming. We are gonna use 30 grams of whole egg white powder. So yes, 30 grams of the egg white powder, and now I'm going to add 20 grams of the whole egg powder. Which is, I'm going to be using almost all of the rest of my powder. We're literally using the rest there, so I'm, a gram short or maybe not no I'm okay so 20 grams of full egg powder I'm using a hefty tablespoon of coconut flour not leveled hefty okay so I'm gonna use a teaspoon of arrowroot flour use two tablespoons of swerve One tablespoon of allulose, teaspoon of nutritional yeast, I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon of real salt, a tablespoon of butter powder, a tablespoon of buttermilk powder. This is something I've been adding to my bread too. I really like how it makes the texture. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. Actually, I'm gonna add just a smidgen more. I like cinnamon, so I'm gonna do another half. So a half a teaspoon of ginger, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. I don't have cloves, so I'm just gonna use a smidgen of uh, some allspice, so I'm gonna use like eighth of a teaspoon. Not very much. Okay. So that is everything I'm going to add there. So I'm going to give it a good mix. And then I've gone ahead. No one wants to see me shred carrots, but I've shredded two carrots. So this is all gonna go in to the egg whites once they have stiffened. And then I'm also gonna put a splash of vanilla in to, uh, when I'm mixing all the ingredients together as well. It smells so good and flagrant. Okay, so let's start the egg whites now. I wanted to measure this all out without the noise of the um, mixer. Yeah, so I wanted to mix it without the noise in the mixer. So my mixer, we've got the egg whites and the cream of tartar. We are going to mix it on high for about five minutes. Okay guys, I've turned it down to a low speed. I'm gonna just slowly add in the dry ingredients or the remainder of the dry ingredients. Of vanilla. Okay, I'm not, I wasn't sure if I was gonna whip these in, but I might sprinkle some of the carrots in, see if it makes it better, mixes it better than I could with my spatula. I'm not so worried about height because this is gonna be in a sheet pan. amazing but <laughs> let's hope it works out oh I just totally whipped some whites into my uh, toaster okay we're gonna just mix a little bit by hand
it has fallen dramatically, but again, it's okay because it's going in a sheet pan. So I have like a regular cookie pan here instead of my flat baking sheet. I was gonna try this to keep keep it nice and uniform and even um, if any of you have seen my um, pizza roll video, PMS pizza rolls or my cinnamon rolls, I've done it on a flat sheet. I was gonna try to be all neat and use a clicky sheet. So I've got parchment paper here um, and I'm just, that way it's nice and even. I'm gonna see how that works out instead of the flat sheet. Hopefully it doesn't stick as much to the um, parchment paper. That's why I like using the um, baking sheet, the flat one, but I am gonna spray this a little bit because I don't want it to stick. So I've just sprayed it with some avocado oil. I only have a little extra in my bowl and I wanted to try something else so I could totally add it to my sheet pancake here and be fine, but I wanted to add a little bit to a cupcake or um, cupcake mold to see how they do um, in cupcakes. So I'm curious for myself if I make these again, if I could do cupcakes. So I'm trying a cupcake mold. two cupcakes there and then this little bit I'm just gonna put it on the pan so it's gonna go in the oven again it was preheating to 325 so it's nice and ready I'm going to put it on my middle rack um, I think I actually have a little tray for these guys so these are gonna go just below it Okay, so I am gonna set a timer for, um, my oven runs so hot, I'm gonna do 13 minutes, but I'm probably gonna leave it the full 15, but I will check it in 13 minutes. Okay guys, it ended up being, um, it ended up being about 17 minutes and I'm pulling it because I'm nervous it's gonna get too firm. And then the muffins, I'm just gonna let them do like another minute or two. So I'm gonna set my timer. Two minutes. We may hear a beat. Feels good. It's not like as dark as your traditional carrot cake. Hoping that this paper <laughs> peels back for me without too much grievance, but we'll see. As far as uniformity, the pan worked great. Whether or not this paper will pull off as nicely as my baking mat will be determined. This smells so good, by the way. Um, paper's not coming off too bad. The mat is so much nicer for that. Maybe I'll have to figure something else better for next time. Okay. Just this corner gave me the most most trouble so hopefully that's just the bottom let's hope this rolls up for me nicely now okay hope you can see that it rolled up really good I'm gonna let this come to a little bit more cool before I put my um, frosting in which will give me time to make the frosting um, 
And these ones, I'm sure they're already shrinking back. Come out no problem because it's silicone. Um, so I'm gonna let those cool too. I've never actually used my mixer to do a frosting, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I usually don't have enough ingredients for this to reach the bottom, so I'm gonna try it. If this doesn't work, I'll pull out my hand mixer, but I'm gonna use a stick of butter, half a cup of butter, and then I have a package of light cream cheese that I'll add. I probably should have. Um, I have to pour a new bag of Swerve into my canister, so I'm gonna just measure out with the bag. I'm gonna add a cup of Swerve. guys I mixed it all up for a couple minutes it's uh, just a little bit on the thick side and I want to be able to spread it a little bit better so I'm gonna add a quarter cup of heavy cream and continue mixing and rich and creamy so that is perfect I'm gonna take this off totally spreadable now so it's perfect I had set this in the fridge to cool down and it feels like it's cooled down I wasn't sure <laughs> if I mixed up too much icing, which is fine. I'll use it for something else if I did. Um, but I didn't want to not have enough either. So I'm trying to spread it out so there's a good layer of cream cheese filling. I definitely won't be worried about protein sparing <laughs> that day, um, Sunday, but I just want a good even. So I'm trying to leave a little bit not iced this time to see if it lays better when I roll it up. Um, like kind of tie it all in, we'll see. I do like how the edges are neat versus when I did it on the baking tray there, the flat baking tray, so that's good. Oh, hopefully this isn't stuck to the other side too bad. So again, not as dark as traditional carrot cake, but it, like I can tell you it's gonna be tasty regardless because it smells so good in here. See, I was hoping with not, can I lift it? I was hoping by not frosting that end, it would just sit nicer and it has. So aesthetically it looks better, but you could totally frost that whole thing. This is how much icing I have left in the bowl. So I will use some of that on the cupcakes and maybe I'll decorate the top of this. I don't think it's enough icing to coat the um, carrot cake block, but it's sitting there. It's sitting good. Okay.
So my plan was, <clears throat> because I'm using the cake for Sunday, to maybe um, freeze it, and then I'll pull it out that day, because mm -hmm. the PMS freezes really well, and I'm sure this will freeze no problem. Um, but as far as tasting it for the video, to make the cake look nicer, what I was thinking is I was gonna cut off the ends anyways, and I'll just bring the um, cake neat and tidy. So I will cut off a piece of this. I'm just going to frost some of my, mus <laughs> my muffins, and then I was thinking if I could pipe out a little bit of flowers or something, we'll see. I am just the worst at filling these piping bags these ones shrunk down quite a bit so I'm gonna just do a cute little you know okay let's see if I can get some flowers on this <clears throat> without wrecking it I'm going to just do Okay, so this flower is right up at the end. So that was the piece I was gonna cut off and try. And then here at this end, like although it doesn't look horrible, I was gonna just try to cut it really clean. Um, so there's a clean edge for when I bring it on Sunday. So what I'm gonna do now is try to, um, I don't know what knife would work best. I'm going to try to cut a piece off. And this will be the piece I taste test for you all. Looks really good. I'm just gonna set that there for now. And I'm gonna just try to clean up this edge Hopefully it cuts for me. Just a little sliver there. Maybe I'll just try this piece. Hmm. It's no surprise, it's really good. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. That is so good. My hands are messy. That was amazing. Let me grab a plate. Like that looks so good, guys. It is so good. I'm so happy on how this turned out. I'm gonna clean my plate there. I tried to bring it over into better lighting. So this is the cake I'll bring. The edges are all clean. It looks pretty. I'll probably eat these at some point. I'm gonna taste test that for you. But, oh my goodness, guys, I am so happy with how this turned out. It looks amazing. Not your traditional carrot cake color, but so yummy. I have a feeling even the little cupcakes are gonna be delicious. Okay, let me taste test this guy with an actual fork and on camera. Okay, guys. I'm just, I already know it's so good, but So good. Oh my goodness. You have to let me know if you guys try this. Oh my god. I only have one camera. So I can't get a close-up shot of the food and the eating. Mm. You know I'm saving that for last, right? So. Mm. <clears throat> so good. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this recipe. If you do try the recipe, let me know. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I hope to be on here more. Thank you for your patience and um, for all your support. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. Have a good Easter. Bye.